term spiritual warfare is widely used in the church. In this short video, I want to give you my perspective as a Christian counselor and deliverance minister of how the term deliverance relates and is part of spiritual warfare. spiritual warfare is found in Ephesians 6.12 in the Bible where Paul says our struggle is not against flesh and blood we battle powers, principalities, spiritual forces of evil he says in the heavenly realms and in this dark world so we understand there's a spiritual battle that's still ongoing Jesus defeated the devil at the cross he's a defeated foe but the warfare is still going on so there is the two realms there's the heavenly realm that Paul talks about and we would see and understand that as the second heaven that's where principalities are, powers and principalities that he refers to. And we see that evidenced in the book of Daniel, where he is told that the answer to his prayer was delayed because the prince of the Persian kingdom was at work there and, and hindering that prayer. So we would see those as demonic warfare happening over cities, over territories, over countries, uh, maybe even churches and, and, and areas, that sort of thing. That's the second heaven. We live here in the earthly realm, the first heaven. And that's where Paul says there's spiritual forces of evil in this dark world. Even Satan is called the prince of this world. And there are demonic spirits here assigned to torment us. And, and we see that many sicknesses and diseases, are, 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 there are spirits behind those. And so part of the warfare in the, heavenly, in the earthly realm is, is coming in for physical healing, Part of it is also deliverance ministry. That's a viable present-day ministry in the body of Christ, the driving out of demons. So that is an aspect of spiritual warfare. And that's how we see it. It's in the realm. It's in the context. It's one aspect of, of spiritual warfare that needs to happen, the actual driving out of demons. And we know from the Word that Christ gave his church power and authority to drive out demons. And then there's another level of spiritual warfare that happens in terms of discerning uh, spirits and resisting them. It says in James, you know, that we are submit to God, of course, resist these devils, and they will flee from us. So we need to discern, and it's one of the spiritual gifts, discerning of spirits. So we see deliverance ministry as one aspect of spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare happens on many fronts in the, in, the, in the second heaven type of warfare. A lot of intercessors are involved in doing things there. But in the realm we live in, we need to drive out demons. We need to resist uh, the demons, and also we need to take a hold of our healing that Christ has provided for us. If any of this strikes a chord with you and you want to learn more about that, especially in the area of deliverance, ministry, and spiritual warfare, I urge you to check out our website. Um, come and see what we do. Check out testimonials, client testimonials. We're Christian counselors, but deliverance ministry is part of what we do to help people. I'd like to thank you for watching. God bless you.